Okay, so I'm gonna try to do a quick one here. Sorry about the voice. Again, I'm getting, I have a chest cold, taking a beating. So right off the bat, this is after the terrible pick six by Michigan. They come back out, and what I love is if you check out the one safety, the, the guy who had the interception was Bud Clark. He's out. <clears throat> they have someone replacing him. Both of the, this team, TCU, and Georgia, play a lot of players and it's really cool and I mean it, it's 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 for many different reasons I'm, I'm not going to get into it but it's I've always said team 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 play a lot of players I mean and you may say well we don't have the recruits okay Georgia has the recruits or what about TCU they definitely aren't recruiting like Georgia yet they're playing a lot of players I love this by Joe Gillespie or Dykes or whoever is I think it'd be Gillespie managing the defense so Bud Clark to safety just got an interception for a touchdown. He's on the bench now to get his head together, get the balance. I don't know if that's why. Maybe to get his breath. Who knows what? But I love it. They have another safety. Pop him in there, Camara. That's, I think that's this guy. Anyway, <clears throat> part of the aggressive stuff that I wanted to show, uh, again, out of this 3-3. Uh, three, three. So when you first look at it, look. It's too light in the box, right? Three guys, blah, blah, blah. And look at Michigan, two tight end, one, two personnel. They're going to bring a receiver in to make it really condensed. But look what happens now. Up comes one of the safeties. Up in comes the cornerback. So now up come the linebackers. You have eight guys in the box with two safeties ready to pounce. Okay? Look at that. Look at that mass congestion. And these two guys are ready for anything to break out of the middle. That's why you have... <laughs> It's, it's not your 3-3 three, three from a long time ago. This is the aggressive style that I always thought, you know, I think we're going to eventually move to, a, well, there's already 2-4, but I think it's eventually going to be a 2-5. I've always thought that. And, I'm, and most everyone's going to be a safety hybrid, a safety linebacker hybrid. We're going to see that across the board with a couple of huge hosses down on the line, something along those lines. I, I've always had that feeling for years. But anyway, here it is. <clears throat> That's a jam up, Okay. I'm not going to get into details. Now we go to the next play. Again, looks like a conservative defense. You know, five DBs, three, three. They're more spread this time, okay? Still, look at the attack by the safeties. Look at that. That's Perry. He's a big guy. Big safety. Coming down and he smacks him. Boom. But I'm just saying. Now what you can do about that, RPOs, you got to burn these safeties. You know, and... and but that means you have to be a, a good passer, a quarterback, a good spread passer. You have to, you know, do that. You have to execute it, make it happen, you know. And then they can't just, you know. Zach Smith, Menace to Sports, great stuff. Thanks for letting me see this. He's showing you right here how this linebacker, this is the details of this stuff. I mean, he said the running back, and it's absolutely true. I mean, the running back, pull, run up a little more and don't bail outside so quick. And that pulls this linebacker up into his gap. Because he bails out so quick, the linebacker gets out and tackles him. But that's the details. I mean, absolutely coaching stuff there that you want to, if you want to know that stuff, go, go and check his stuff out. So, okay. And then <clears throat> now, again, it looks so conservative here, right? And it is going to be a passing down third and long. Okay. Spread set. Here we go. JJ's back like a spread passer. This is how bad he is as a spread passer. I'm just saying. He's, <clears throat> he could be very good, used a certain way. Um, I don't know that it will, I mean, either he needs a lot of work in this part of the game or he'll, he just doesn't have it for this. Because his eyes, I mean, did he even look at this guy right here? Circling, okay? And, and when you look at the defense, you can kind of see <clears throat> who's, it's a man match. Okay, it's a uh, cover six, actually. Uh, I call it cover six. You, it's, it's like a quarters down here, which is four, and then like a cover two here, which is two. That's six. It's not, not that complicated. But everybody has a match. It's a six match. This guy's matching him. He's got a match here. As a quarterback, you're able to see this right away. You can see press, like a press or off coverage. doesn't matter. They're going to be matched. This guy's going to be matched. This guy, the safety has to get up to him, okay? JJ's not even looking over there. 
he just took a peek to hold the safety, but he thought he was holding the safety. It's like a, he's like doing the stuff from the 80s or the 90s. That's not good enough. And then this guy falls, the receiver. But I think he had predetermined he was going there. Let's take a look at his eyes. Let's focus in on his eyes. Okay, look at the middle of the field, holding safeties. And he's also, is it middle of the field coverage? I mean, middle of the field closed, which is one high safety. Or middle of the field open, which is two safeties. This is two safeties, but it's a cover six. It's not a cover two. So then he gets automatic, he's going there. Now, you know, maybe <clears throat> if he looked over there and saw the guy was covered, he looks back the other way. I don't know what his progression was supposed to be, but all I know is you can see the space right here. See all that space? I I don't know. Maybe they're not doing it. They're, it's more of a pro style, no doubt about it. The Matt Weiss, pro style. Harbaugh, pro style. So there's a certain progression. Maybe it starts over here, I guess. I, I, I don't know those details. I think Zach would, may know that. Probably does. But the point is, all I know is I don't need to know all that. <laughs> I'm not coaching. I can just see this wide open right there. Not good. Guy covered and falling down, and we go there. If he could ever even become efficient, a little bit efficient, at the spread pass, it would make him. It would make this offense, no matter who's the talent next year, so much better. But I don't know. I don't know. It would take a whole mindset change, and, and then work working with him.